Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use annotative text to set your text height at a specific size so, so that it appears at the right height in your viewport no matter what scale you set your viewport to. So right now my text in my model is a style simplex which is not annotative. So that means when I scale my viewport the text will scale with it, which isn't really what you want. You don't really want to print out your piece of paper and have gigantic text on it. You want it to be set to a specific size and no matter what scale you zoom your viewport to, it will be that size. And you want it to be the same size across all different size sheets of paper as well. A3 for example, and A0 for example. So. If I measure right now my piece of text on my A0, it is around 20 millimeters. And on my A3, it is around 7. So, not really ideal. So, we can use annotative text styles to fix this issue. So, if I select on my text style here, I can set a piece of text as annotative or not in the style option here. I've already got some annotative styles here and they're denominated by this little icon on the left hand side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is quickly pick up my text using the select similar tool and then change it to an annotative text style. What we'll see down the right hand side is we've got some new properties. Annotative yes, annotative scale one to one, and then we've got paper text height and model text height. So the scale where it says one to one, that's the scale it is in the model. So you can see that they, the model and the paper text height are the same because it's one to one. If I add some more scales to these pieces of text, for example, one to 20 and one to 40, now I can scale these text, these pieces of text in, in my model using this option here. So if I select 1 to 20, it makes it 20 times larger. If I select 1 to 40, it makes it 40 times larger again. If I pick up my text, you can see that now the model text height has been multiplied by 40. Okay, which is fine, but my paper text height is set to 286, which is a bit large. Okay, you can't use these options unless you've already added the scale to your text select similar, you can see that it's now one to one again. Ignore the preview, the preview shows you all the different scales available. It's a bit annoying, I wish it didn't, but that's the way it is. So the model and the paper are now set to one to one because we haven't added one to 10 in our scales for our text. So you need to add it first in your scales and then you can use the one to 20 here and it will scale your text and multiply it by 20. Okay, so let's select similar again, pick up all my text and set it to a paper text height of four. So you can see now my model text height is 80, which is just about readable. So probably I prefer to have my model text height at a multiple of 40. So now if I select similar again, you can see it's now 160, which is a nice size in my model. my paper text height is set to four. So if I go to my viewport and I make a copy of this viewport, let's do from here to here. And important thing to note, two options you need switched on when you're working with annotative objects are show annotation objects and add scales to annotative objects. Okay, so without that switched on, you won't be able to see them. Without that switched on, they won't scale. So make sure they're both on. Now if I shift my viewport scale, they should appear in my model. So you have to shift the scale to get them to appear. And you'll see that in my model now, I've got two viewports, one set at one to 20, one set at one to 40, 20. Yep. 
and the text height is the same in both viewports. Four millimeters there, and four millimeters there. Okay. If I go to my A3 sheet, again, make sure my options are correct down the bottom here. Shift my scale, something like 1 to 20, maybe. There you go. A bit bigger, 1 to 40, or smaller, I should say. You can see that the text will appear larger because we're on a smaller sheet of paper, but it will still be 4 millimeters high. So if I print out this on an A3 and I print out this sheet on an A0, the text height will be the same on both sheets of paper, which is obviously what you want. Okay, so I hope this uh, video has been useful to you. You can use annotative objects on text, on dimensions, on leaders, uh, blocks, and also hatching. So please feel free to contact Random Machine if you've got any more questions. Thank you for watching. Bye.